Next, we speak with State Representative Tom Cross about his race for the Republican nomination for State Treasurer. This runs about five minutes. State Representative Tom Cross, thanks for joining us again on the Illinois Channel. And uh, last year at this time you were the leader, right. now you're a candidate for a state treasurer. Just give us an overview, how's your campaign going? It's going great. Uh, I actually am one of those guys that enjoys traveling around the state. Uh, it's a great state, uh, great people. You know, we have a lot of good things going for us. Some of the best agricultural land in the world, great hospitals, universities. I even say every now and then we have good ball teams. It depends where you live. But uh, we're struggling, uh, and people are frustrated and angry. And we're talking about trying to do things a little non-traditional way of being an aggressive treasure, an activist treasure. And people are, are responding to that, and uh, it's going well. As you uh, are in this legislative session this spring, you're not the leader. How does it feel a little different for you, or how is your time being spent differently? Well, I enjoyed being the leader. We had a great caucus. Um, unfortunately, we were always kind of struggling with the Democrat majority and uh, tried to make our case, and at times did, sometimes we did, and that's the legislative process. But uh, we have a good leader uh, in Jim Durkin, and we have a, continue to have, I think, a good caucus. So it's a, in some ways it's a little liberating because you don't have the role of, of the leader. Uh, but I love this caucus, the House Republican Caucus, and this institution uh, is, is good, and it's had a lot of history. As again, we're just kind of going through some real struggles right now as a state, and uh, we're all trying to figure out how, to, how we can best fix those. You have an opponent for the Republican primary. One of the issues for state treasurer that was brought up is that you don't have, you're not like a CPA background. You're, what would you say, I, I presume you would say, your experience here in the state house, your years in the legislature gives you some institutional knowledge and having been the leader, you have your fingers on the pulse of what's happening around the state, I would guess. Right. I'm not trying to make your case no. for you, but, but, but lay out what, what are your, what's your response as far as you not having the auditing background that a CPA might have as far as your qualifications? Well, the, the one thing about, about that argument that, that he makes is the, uh, we have an Auditor General, Bill Holland, who I happen to think does a very, very good job. And there's a distinction between a treasurer who this job is to invest money and also um, keep an eye on Bright Start and also the iCash program. So very distinct responsibilities between auditing and investing. But look, m my goal here and the reason I'm running is this state's a mess. And I think the treasurer ought to be actively engaged in trying to turn this state around. One of the things we believe as treasurer is that um, we ought to have an, an honestly balanced budget. This constitution of ours, the state of Illinois says you should have a balanced budget. We haven't seen a balanced budget in 10 years. I've seen the games that get played, the gimmicks, the manipulation of numbers, and we have a responsibility as treasurer, I believe, if I'm elected, to enforce that constitution. And we're going to be very, very aggressive about that. You have got to balance this budget uh, today and going forward. If you're going to have any type of turnaround in this state, you've got to do some other things. But balancing the budget, we have $8 billion of unpaid bills. We spent $300 million last year in, in late fees and penalties. And small businesses can't survive if they're vendors for the state when we don't pay them. So it's critical we turn it around. And so knowing what goes on and how we got here, um, can help us get out of this mess, if you're willing to be aggressive about it. My opponents don't believe you should enforce the Constitution have said I disagree with that, but uh, I think it's a novel way to do it, it's a bold way to do it, and we're going to take that. We have to, to be bold to solve these problems. I know you have to go to the House floor here in just a minute, but uh, as just, just earlier today here in the Capitol, the House Revenue Committee said that they agreed to a revenue projection of 34, just under $34.5 billion as far as GRF for the 2015 budget year. Uh, one of the issues that they're contending with, as you know, is that the state income tax is going to go off halfway through this fiscal year. What is your position, both as a candidate, as far as that tax increase, and what do you hear as you go around? You must hear from constituents or people who would ask you and their thoughts on that tax increase. I think most people in the state want it to go away. And th they were promised that by the Democrats when they passed it and said, we're going to do this to pay off bills. And, and they continue to spend money time and time again, year in, year, in, year in and year out, that exceeds what we have. And so we've, this state has got to learn to live within its means and make sure that we don't spend more than we take in. Could be 34, could be 36, could be 30. We, we spend, we've seen the Democrats spend more and more and more, and that's got to stop. Are you for the keep keeping the tax increase or taking it off? Oh, it needs to expire. What about the, then the, I'll just ask you, I think I know the answer, but as far as changing the state from a flat tax to a progressive tax? Oh, I, I think that's a huge mistake, and the people advocating that are, are pushing for wanting more and more and more money, and again, that's the wrong way to go. People are struggling as a sta in, in this state right now, and we got to give them some relief. All right, Representative Tom Cross, I Thanks. hear the bells ringing. Right, see you. You're watching the Illinois Channel.